Bez, today we're going to learn about what Daddy and I have been doing for the last few months. Daddy and I have been very busy planning a film festival. A, B, C, Z, of Doc and Y, C. <laughs> that not the goes. How does it go? A, B, C, of Doc and Y, C. A is for Artifact. Jared Leto will be in person for the festival's opening night film about his band 30 Seconds to Mars battling their record label. B is for Betty Page. She was a nice lady who made men smile. And she tells her own story in a rare interview for the film, Betty Page Reveals All. C is for Can't Stand Losing You. <laughs> Andy Summers, the guitarist from The Police, will be at the festival for the world premiere of this film about the band's history. D is for David Bromberg. This great musician played with Bob Dylan and George Harrison, and he'll be at Doc NYC for the film David Bromberg Unsung Treasure. E is for Ethel. Director Rory Kennedy will be in person to present this film about her mother, Ethel Kennedy. F is for five broken cameras. The cameras are broken. Michael Moore will be in person to present this award-winning film from the Middle East. <laughs> G is for Gibney. I you know in Sesame is after the growl. Yeah, she is for Grouch, too, that's right. That's the Oscar-winning director, Alex Gibney, who'll be at the festival to present the new film Mia Maxima Culpa about crimes of the Catholic Church. H is for Hagerty. That's Anthony Hagerty of Anthony and the Johnsons. The singer will be at the festival to present his concert documentary, Turning. I is for Ice-T. He'll be at the festival to present the film Iceberg Slim, Portrait of a Pimp, about the renowned author. J is for Jason Becker. This great guitarist was diagnosed with a fatal disease, but he beats its odds as documented in the film, Jason Becker, Not Dead Yet. K stands for Koppel, Bez. That's two-time Oscar winner Barbara Koppel, who's coming to Doc NYC with her new film, Fight to Live, about patients battling the Food and Drug Administration. Bez? L is for Lost Bird Project. How does a bird fly? That's a documentary about a sculptor who memorializes birds that are going extinct. If you like birds, you should also see Birders, the Central Park effect, that profiles bird lovers like Jonathan Franzen. M is for Magic Camp. This delightful film for the whole family plays as a Saturday matinee and includes a live magic show. Are we going to do that? I think we are going to do that. N is for New York Times Opdox. The festival will showcase a presentation of short films commissioned by the newspaper with several directors in person. O is for old people. In the documentary Ping Pong, senior citizens compete for a gold medal in the sport. Thank you. So P is for perverts. The philosopher Slavoj Žižek analyzes film clips for their ideological content in the Pervert's Guide to Ideology. Q is for quality and quantity. At Doc NYC, you can buy an insider's pass to attend five days worth of panels and films for one low price. R is for Rufus Wainwright. He and Martha Wainwright will be at Doc NYC for the film called Sing Me the Songs That Say I Love You, a concert for Kate McGarrigal that documents a special performance paying tribute to their mother. S. This is the S. Can you take the S? S is for Sundance Institute. For their 10th anniversary, journalist Glenn Greenwald of The Guardian will lead a conversation of great filmmakers sharing clips from their upcoming work. T is for To Tell the Truth. The festival presents the world premiere of this documentary about the history of documentary making, followed by a conversation with the filmmakers and Richard Pena. U is for Unger. That's the illustrator Tommy Unger, known for both his children's books and erotica. In the film, Far Out Isn't Far Enough. V is for Venus and Serena. We're playing this film about the tennis champions on opening night, followed by a conversation with writer Gay Talese and the filmmaker Michelle Major. W is for West of Memphis. Damien Eccles, one of the West Memphis Three, will be in person along with Henry Rollins for this documentary about his fight to be exonerated for a crime he didn't commit. 
X is for extremes. The documentary Men at Lunch explores the extreme situation behind this famous photo of workers building Rockefeller Center. Y is for yodelers. Yodely. <laughs> the documentary No Business Like Show Business follows a group of Swiss yodelers who travel for a performance in Asia. Can you yodel, Bez? Say yodely. <laughs> Z is for zipper. That's the ride at Coney Island that gets caught in the middle of a real estate battle. How many films are you going to see, Bez? One. Are you going to see two movies, Bez? Two. Are you going to see 11 movies, Bez? I love it. Don't get my see lots of movies.